today's recipe, I am making a nice quick recipe that you can put together in say 15, 20 minutes, depending on how many ingredients you wanna use because you can add what you want. We're using ingredients from Trader Joe's and so I highly recommend you use those, although you can throw in and you know from other stores, you can use what you want, but I highly recommend the Trader Joe's ingredients. So what we're making is cauliflower gnocchi with some chicken and some sausage that's already cooked up. We're gonna toss in some asparagus and carrots as our vegetable, and then we're gonna finish it off with a Trader Joe's pumpkin bisque. I guess it's like a soup. And that makes a wonderful sauce, and this comes together so quick, you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Let's start off with our ingredients. First up, from Trader Joe's, I have cauliflower gnocchi. Now, if you're not familiar with what a gnocchi is, basically, traditionally, they're made out of, they're like little potato dumplings with, made with flour, and they're served with a sauce. And we're using cauliflower ones, so we're replacing the potato part with cauliflower. These are in Trader Joe's frozen section. Now, I also picked up some sausage that's already cooked. Here I've got some smoked apple chardonnay. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And uh, the ingredients in this are really good, so check that out. I also have some chicken thighs that are boneless, skinless. I cut that up into small pieces. So we want everything chopped really small so that everything cooks up nice and quick for you. So we get this on the table in lickety split, 15 minutes or so. All right, here's our sauce. Now you gotta get this at Trader Joe's. It's the pumpkin bisque. Right now, Trader Joe's it has everything pumpkin, and this stuff is really delicious, so it's, it goes perfect with this dish, you'll love it. All right, so for our vegetables, I've got a grated carrot. You know I grated it, right? So it'll cook up nice and quick. We have asparagus cut into small pieces, and I like to add some fresh herbs to bring this, this whole dish you know, really alive. It's the basil is awesome, and that's what we're gonna add to that. And for garnish, I've got some fresh Parmesan cheese, parsley, I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit of fresh lemon juice to brighten things up. And then we'll also need some salt, butter, and avocado oil. All right, let's start cooking. I've got two pans, this one's smoking. I have them over medium high heat, so I'm gonna turn that one down just a smidge. This one is uh, medium heat as well. We wanna have that, both of these pans nice and hot. I'm adding my olive oil here, I mean my avocado oil, excuse me, to both pans. We're gonna take our cast iron pan here and I'm gonna cook my chicken. I'm gonna use my splatter guard. It makes a lot of noise there with all that cooking going on. I'm gonna add a little salt to this. And we're just gonna cook this up for just a few minutes here. In the meantime, my other pan is hot. Let's add our butter to that. Now you want to cook your gnocchi frozen, so don't worry about thawing it out. You're just going to throw it in the pan. And then we're going to toss those right in. Now with these, you want to get them all on the pan. And they'll break up as they cook. So we're going to just let them sit and we're going to let those cook for like three or four minutes until they brown up on one side. Then I'm going to turn them over. Now notice I'm using one utensil for the chicken and another one for the gnocchi. I don't want to cross contaminate here with the raw chicken. Now the chicken's going to cook up pretty quick. It's still slightly pink, but it's it's gonna be done here real quick. All right, so next I'm gonna add my carrots. And I'm gonna to toss these in here with the chicken so they can cook up a little bit. And I'm gonna to toss in the asparagus. I'm gonna check out one of the gnocchis here, see how they're doing. They're starting to get a little crisp. That's good, that's what we want. I'm gonna give this a shot of oil just a little bit more. It looks a little dry. Now the gnocchi, I'm gonna start turning over. Keep your temperature up to medium high. 
So we get these to brown up and crisp up. Although they're really not going to stay super crispy, I have to admit, uh, because once that sauce gets on them, they do tend to get a little soft, but there's flavor in that brown stuff. <laughs> you know, don't follow the directions on the package. They turn out pretty mushy when you do. Do it the way I'm showing you, and you will like these a lot more. And our veggies over here, looking good. That's almost done. Now, I'm going to take a little bit. I didn't add this in my ingredient list, but make sure you check below in the description of the video. It'll give you the written recipe. I'm going to add some fresh garlic to this because, well, garlic makes everything taste amazing. So I'm just going to put this in here right at the end. That way it just, it doesn't burn and it uh, just adds a lot of nice flavor. Okay, so now I'm going to add my basil to this pan. I'm just going to sprinkle that in, let that cook in a little bit. Now I'm going to toss in my sausage. I'm going to toss it in with the gnocchi because everything's going to go in this pan anyway. And we're just heating these up because these are fully cooked. And we're just about done. All right, everything looks pretty browned up, looking great. I'm going to take this pan's ingredients, the chicken and the veggies, and I'm going to toss it into the gnocchis. Now, all we have to do is take our sauce, and you can add as much of this as you want or need, okay? And I'm just going to pour it right on top. And now you don't want to do too much, in my view. Just enough to give it some flavor. Okay, we're going to start with that and mix it in. I'm going to give a little spritz of some nice fresh lemon juice on this. Hot off the stove, that just took, you know, just a few minutes to cook up. Let's serve it up. All right, then I'm going to grate just a little fresh Parmesan cheese. It's just nice and hot so it melts right in. Now, normally I like to use flat leaf parsley, but I couldn't find it at the store that I was at, so I'm going with the curly leaf. And there you have it, and I can't wait to dig in. Boy, I tell you, the flavors are just so delicious, guys. I hope you try this. I can taste the garlic. I can taste, you know, the pumpkin bisque really makes the dish, I have to say. You know, it's always the sauce that, that makes the dish, right? And the flavors are just so delicious. I hope you try it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more delicious recipes like this. Uh, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. That's the notification bell, and that will tell you when new videos come out every week. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.